Now, let me turn to Kao Ide. Uh, you are here, the Chinese citizen. <laughs> <laughs> so we are very carefully listening to what you will say, sir. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, the organizer, to having me here. Um, I guess there's no uh, consensus on the definition uh, of uh, international economic order. Uh, but it seems to me uh, there should be three components in international economic order. Uh, first of all, uh, it's international organization, economic organization, or people say uh, Britain World Institution, IMF, World Bank, uh, WTO. Uh, secondly, uh, it's uh, international uh, economic law and uh, regulation, uh, which is some involved with these uh, institutions, some not, just uh, John mentioned, like a Paris Club, uh, some written, some unwritten. The, the last one is the international monetary system, uh, which means uh, which currency or which uh, become the, the international currency standard. Um, I have a general uh, judgment uh, on the international economic order after the Second War. Uh, it's provide a good public goods, uh, play a positive role to uh, build up a base uh, which world economy uh, steadily grows uh, in past several decades. But at the same time, uh, it shows uh, some shortcomings. Uh, for example, like John mentioned, uh, it hasn't uh, fully uh, provided the benefit of globalization to developing countries uh, and other shortcomings. So it's time uh, for a reform. How to do that? I want to describe one by one for the each component of economic uh, order. Uh, first of all, for international economic organization, I also want to quote her <laughs> Chang said, um, uh, more power in decision make uh, should more for shift to developing countries. Uh, I guess uh, for G20, uh, Jeff Sachs suggests it should be G21. Uh, which including uh, African Union should have a seat on G20. I think it's a good idea uh, for consideration. Uh, second, for international economic uh, regulation uh, and the law, I guess should the stock uh, to uh, keep uh, some of them to keep it. Some of them we have to revise or some have throughout. The last one is add some new regulation along with the development of uh, technology advance. Last for the international um, monetary system, after the collapse of uh, 1917, Britain war uh, collapse, the US dollar become the dominant reserve currency uh, in conceivable future, I don't think this pattern will have a fundamental change. But as from long term, the multiple reserve currencies, currency system are uh, more likely. I'm not going to say definitely will come out, but it's likely, uh, which will provide uh, international liquidity more evenly to, to different kind of uh, countries. Uh, people say uh, that will be three pillar uh, system, uh, which means US dollar, uh, uh, EU, and the Chinese renminbi. Uh, in short term, I guess uh, very important for US uh, should do more macro, uh, should do more cooperation on macroeconomic uh, policy, among other. Uh, major economies. Uh, also, um, currently, many countries experiment for CBDC uh, under the framework of BIS. There are, there are four projects to see whether they can unify some uh, future of the, uh, the CBDC, uh, which I think it's good to facilitate uh, transport uh, 
transportation, uh, transaction and the payment system. Um, how the international uh, economic order involve uh, in near future? Uh, I guess it will depend the results of two important factors. First of all, it depends on the results of geopolitical evolution. If Russian and uh, Ukraine war wouldn't uh, expand to uh, involve other countries or escalate to high level, if the fric uh, uh, friction and the competition between US and China uh, wouldn't escalate to conflict, uh, including military conflict, I still can't believe current framework of international economic order uh, will remain existing. Although, as mentioned, it should be reformed. Uh, uh, if not, the whole world, world will be uh, totally fragmented, and the international economic order will completely collapse. The second factor is whether uh, emerging uh, protectionism uh, and anti-globalization uh, would be effectively contained. If not, the global industry chain uh, would greatly uh, disrupted, and the international economic order would inevitably fall into in disorder. I just stop here. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, what you say is uh, extremely important. Your plea for uh, uh, having, uh, preserving, if I may, <coughs> appropriate order, renewed order, and uh, fight against uh, the deglobalization, anti globalization phenomenon that is looming in the present world is very, very important. I. Uh, uh, reserve the right to come back to the international monetary system that you mentioned very wisely.